Yo, what's good guys, it's Joto Draft. Hopefully everyone's doing well. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. And today's video, as the title suggests, we'll be doing a reaction to the new Gen 9 game, Scarlet and Violet. They are doing a announcement trailer or a brand new trailer for the new games. I guess officially it is the second trailer because the first trailer was like the teaser with like that portrait with like the three starters on it. And I feel like these videos may be a first of many before the release of the official game. I feel like it's gonna come out probably in November. And I think what I'm going to do is actually head up to New York for the Nintendo store and do the midnight release. So when I vlog the midnight release and also edit it, you guys will see it probably sometime in November. But for today's video, let's actually do a reaction. And it's a pretty short video. It's only three minutes. So I'm pretty sure it's just like the intro parts, you know, very basic things about the game. I'm pretty sure as the months go on, there will probably be like a Pokemon Direct of like the actual details of the game. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, just making sure everything is good. And let's press play. As always, the bottom says game footage is not final. But I heard people speculating that this area is like based on Spain and France, like in Europe. There it is, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Ooh. Professor Sada and Turo? Not a fan. It's okay. There he is. Fue Coco, I think that's his name. Is that our rival? I'm liking the green hair, Loki. What is that? Okay. Is this... Can we do co-op? Is that what this is? Okay. We have one in like the... It looks like the, what is it, like Arizona, like Grand Canyon kind of thing. That, I swear, that looks like a fruit. Okay, pretty similar animations to Arceus. What is this? What is this? Lechonk? That's an uh, interesting name. Oh, we have Choodle, okay. Sword and Shield mods as well. Ooh, my favorite area, the snow. Winter. Oh, Larvitar and the Bagon? Okay, we see Venonat. Porcela, Toxifex. Triagonal. Gengar! Mirantis. Talonflame. Ooh. I'm glad they bring back the gyms. Not gonna lie. Is that it? Okay, we're in the canyons. Okay, the... By the water, the sea... Yo, what the he Wait, what? Wait, these are sick. The one on the left looks like a dragon. The right looks like a futuristic dragon. Yo. Scarlet and Violet. Wow. Is that it? Releasing world. Yep. As I mentioned, November 18th. So, bin November digital pre orders. All right. That is very interesting. All right, so I feel like the trailer was a little bit too short. I mean, it was jam-packed, but I definitely want to watch through it one more time. You know, pausing here and there. So hopefully you guys are okay with that. So round two. Okay, as always, starting off in the bedroom. Boy and a girl. Are these the Pokemon centers now? Like, is that what that is? I mean, it has like a red top and stuff, so I don't know if that represents a Pokemon center. But I mean, palm trees. This low-key reminds me of like Mario Sunshine. We have the crest. We have a fruit. So I'm assuming an orange and a grape. So distinguishing the two areas. And it seems like we're gonna have like an open wild area, similar to Sword and Shield. I'm a big fan of these professors' hairstyles, not gonna lie. 
have Sada, Seda, and Turo. Yeah, out of all these three, have to go with Fue Coco, the Fire Croc. Love it. Like, doesn't this just remind you of Mario Sunshine in a way? Like the plaza area? Big fan of her. Okay, we have the cat. What is this? Is that a hamster? Gerbil? Something? Apparently it's electric type. Is that going to be the Pikachu of this generation? Maybe Nemona? That's her name? I feel like that's a Pokemon Center behind her. I'm pretty sure this is co-op. We do see a Pikachu. Okay, classic. Wouldn't be a Pokemon game without it. Alright, so the canyons, the mountain areas, Pikachu Peck. Flaffy! Did not realize that in the initial, uh, I guess, watch. So Flaffy, Gen 2. Alright, it's literally a fruit. Okay, now we're by like the seaside. This is hilarious. Lechonk. So funny. Wait, hold on. Let's actually go back to um the battle screen. So we have battle, Pokemon, bag, run. Huh. The I guess the layout, the UI is very interesting. Obviously it's not final, but then it seems very simple. I guess this is how you do trades. And yep, right there we see a Larvitar and a Bagon. Gen 2 and Gen 3. Pseudo legendaries. Venonat Colossal. Toxapex. Do we see anything else? Cryogonal. Gengar. You see that? Tarantus. Talon Flame. I'm assuming these are the new gyms. Oh, what is this on the left? This tower thing. Huh. Battle tower, maybe? And then now, let's get into the legendaries, the box legendaries that we saw. I think the typing is going to be crazy. I feel like the purple dragons may be like a psychic type, maybe? That'll be pretty sick. Alright, so... Definitely see some scales. This looks like something straight out of from like How to Train Your Dragon kind of thing. Like the animation style of it. This one has freaking jetpacks on its body to propel itself. The chest, it's like a giant wheel, the feathers. I don't even know what kind of Pokemon this will be. This one, I swear, it's not from the same era. Like, these two legendaries are not from the same time frame. Alright, taking a look at the back profile. I feel like my girlfriend, she really liked the one on the left. This is very, like, tribal design, like Native American in a way. But for me, I'm feeling the one on the right. Like, the whole futuristic design and everything. Yeah, the one on the right definitely looks like a tribal leader in some way. Like the feathers, the huge thing that's coming out from his head, the tail. And the one on the right, I'm assuming it's electric type, probably. The whole electricity by its head, the whole like blue plasma on its chest, the jetpack. Man, the textures on these mods look sick. If only if that could be replicated in the games, which I highly doubt. But alright. I like the scale design. We have Scarlet and Violet. Okay. So, yep. November 18th. But yeah, um, honestly, it's very good for like a second trailer um, after the initial teaser trailer. I personally am really looking forward to it. I think the whole area should be very refreshing. Yeah, I'm very curious to see if they incorporate both aspects of Legends Arceus and Sword and Shield because Sword and Shield was more like a test run of like the open area and then Arceus kind of did um, a lot more with it. A big complaint with a lot of these games is that the open area seems very barren because there isn't really much Pokemon within them. Hopefully they can fix that or hopefully they can just make the Switch better in terms of hardware specs and stuff. I think time will have to tell but yeah overall I'm really excited. Um, this new game seems very refreshing as I said. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you guys are excited which version you're gonna get. I probably will get both. Um, probably like the dual pack or something. That is gonna be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want more videos like this, please subscribe. We're on the road to 1k subs. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.